Hey guys, welcome back. Recently, Perrin, these guys, a small Poland-based company, was very kind in sending me several airsoft MOSFETs. I recently reviewed their basic MOSFET, and I was really impressed with it. It's a tiny little thing that fits in a lot of really tight airsoft guns where don't have a lot of space. They also sent me their AB++ MOSFET, which is a little more updated, newer version of their older AB MOSFET. It's got all kinds of different settings on it, so I went ahead and installed this in an airsoft gun, and today we're going to check it out see what I think of it, and go over all the settings. The MOSFET is extremely small. It seems like it'll fit in just about any tight place you need it to in an airsoft gun. It's about an inch long and a half an inch wide. What's really nice is the MOSFET comes with a whopping 18 inches of wiring. With that kind of length, it can fit in just about any airsoft gun as far as application goes. All the parts needed to install the AB++ MOSFET come with it. This includes a length of signal wire, this too is pretty long, several sleeves of heat shrink, which is rather nice, and a couple of motor connectors. What is actually kind of neat is the MOSFET includes this little playing card. It's not really a playing card per se, but it's got the logo on it and a little ace, so kind of cool. The back side is essentially a listing of all the features the MOSFET has and how many settings each feature has. So we've got burst, active braking, pre-cocking, rate of fire reduction, DMR mode, lipo alarm, and of course the master reset to set it back to the original factory settings. The burst mode has up to a five round burst, so any from two to five rounds. Active braking has up to five settings, so it is kind of nice. It's not just an on and off. You do get to pick how much active braking you have. Pre-cocking. Again, different settings on how much pre-cocking to apply. Rate of fire reduction, so if you want to drop a round or even five rounds, you can do that. DMR mode is a time between shots. Lipo alarm is depending on, obviously, if your battery is going to explode in your gun is, and is dying. Master reset is self-explanatory. These options are also included in sticker format as well. And something I didn't point out a second ago was that each of these is color-coded. So actually really interesting. And there is a listing of diagnostic modes. So if you're having problems with your MOSFET or it wasn't installed properly or really anything, you've got something to fall back on here. Stickers and also a little QR code. So if you need to pull up the instructions online for install and all the information there, really simple to do. I installed the AB++ MOSFET in my G&G UMP45. I received this off of a buddy recently, did some tech work for him, and he gave me this in trade. It's a really good deal, actually. Uh, unfortunately, these are really hard to find nowadays. I had one a while back. I wish I hadn't gotten rid of it. It was in better condition than this one. But this one, it definitely needed a MOSFET. It unfortunately had a really makeshift one in there, and it was just huge. And I kid you not, it had like two feet of wiring running off it that just was completely unnecessary. So this was kind of a, a really required upgrade from what was in there, and is definitely a major upgrade in every way. Install isn't too terribly difficult. There are diagrams in the instructions that show you where to wire everything in and how to install it. So it's really not too tough. If you have a little bit of soldering experience, perfect. You'll need it. I do recommend if you don't have any experience doing uh, wiring install or any airsoft teching at all, have your local and reputable tech do the installation. Up front, two signal wires are going to run to the trigger contacts, which is nice. I do like this design. It just seems to fit my style of teching a little bit better. The signal wires run back. One is going to the MOSFET. It's already installed in there when you get it. And the other connects onto the red wire. It takes a little bit of kind of finesse to get that to look good in there. Uh, I was able to really, I think, pull off a pretty clean look with a decent amount of heat shrink and just getting those links just perfect on the wiring. It also comes with a Dean's connector already installed or a T connector. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to program the MOSFET. It's actually really simple. I've got an 11.1 .1 volt here. It's a 15 to 25 C and it's a 1200 milliamp hour. The MOSFET can use 7 fours and up to a 14.8 volt, so you do have voltage options. 11.1 is probably the most I'm ever going to run on an airsoft gun, period, so I figured I'd give this a try. This gun does have the stock original motor in it, so the rate of fire is not going to be super duper fast. I plug it in, I get a little green bulb light up there, and a little beep. And I'm going to put it on semi. And stock factory settings of semi full auto with active braking set to 1. So if I want to enter programming mode, I'm going to press this twice. A little two beeps, I'm in programming mode. So green, as the card displays, we're on burst mode here. So I'm going to do two trigger pulls. And 
and I moved from one to three there. So it's beeping three times. I'm going to move to active braking, which is blue. I'm going to, just for the heck of it, I'm going to put that on like four. Or five, it's plus one. So it's on full active braking now, which is probably not the best way to run it, but you can. Next up is pre-cocking. I'm going to leave this turned off. Rate of fire reduction. Not that I really need it because the rate of fire is not terribly fast in this particular gun. DMR mode. I'm going to leave off. Lipo alarm. That was on before, so I'm going to turn it back on there. Now it's beeping once and it's back on. And the red is the master reset. And if you hold that for five seconds, it is going to totally reset your settings. So I'm going to go back. and now we're in fire mode. So, you can see active braking is working fine. Nozzle resets to exactly the same position. And we've got a three round burst as well on full auto there. Now, the burst is, of course, determined by the voltage from the battery as far as arcs and everything. So this is strictly electrical. There's no mechanical going on. This is really the best way for it to determine where your shot is and how to determine whether you fire two rounds, three rounds, etc. And same with your active braking as well. Let's go ahead and do something really weird. So I'm in programming mode. What can I do? Let's do a different random burst. So, okay, burst is off. <laughs> Let's do two more. Three round burst. Five round burst. Let's stick with that. What the hey. Active braking. Let's set that to a little bit less. Two. That's pretty fair. Pre-cocking, let's put that on, it's got eight settings, holy heck. Five, so be six. All right, that was four, sorry. So active braking's on, or pre-cocking's on five there. Let's get a rate of fire reduction. Let's do something weird. We've got five settings there. Rate of fire reduction's on three. DMR mode. Um... Let's do two. So we've got a half a second delay between shots there. Light bulb alarm, I'm not going to touch. Master reset, we don't want to touch. All right, we're all set. Let's see how this performs. So the shot delay works pretty well. Pretty pleased with that. The rate of fire. Has obviously been reduced for the four round burst there. Sorry, five round burst. It's kind of hitting four every once in a while. That's fine. All right, how hot is this getting? Not really hot at all. It's staying really cool, which is rather nice. The connector is definitely getting warmer, and the battery is eh, warm to the touch, but nothing too crazy. I'm really impressed with this. It's been really easy to install. The programming is really straightforward. I rather like it. They're definitely pretty inexpensive, and I think you get a fantastic bargain for what you're paying. It's small, so it's going to fit in just about any little crevice you can find in an airsoft gun for the most part. It's got 16 gauge, good quality wiring on it, and it comes with everything you need. I think this is a definite 10 out of 10. Perrin's really knocking it out of the park lately. They are making some really, really good products. Of course, I have more Perrin MOSFET reviews coming in the near future. So keep an eye out for those, and I'll see you in the next review.